it. No more Mrs. Mayor, no more bossing all these coppers around. Auntie will be back with Jennifer. I will make sure that Jack never sees the diary. What do you want it for? Will Horton. I thought he already had his memory back. He does, but John Black just told me that Will has developed a brain tumor. So? So, according to John, Rolf's elixir might be the cause of the brain tumor. Why did John Black come crying to you? He's got surveillance video of me going in and out of the hospital administrator's office the day that the diary was stolen off the desk. So you just happened to be outside his office? Big deal. You tell John Black to mind his own damn business. If Will's doctors can't reproduce the serum... Look, Xander, can you just give me back the diary? Sorry. Will could die. So let him die. What do we care what happens to him? <sighs> hey, where, where were you? Why, why do you look so worried? When I, when I got back in the room, you were gone. Oh, I, mean, I was just... I was checking on Ari. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that you've been disoriented more often, and when I came back and the room was empty, I just no. thought it might have happened again. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I, I, I stayed with her longer than I intended. Um, I'm just watching her sleep. She's so sweet. You know, she's... She's beautiful. <laughs> She's both of those things, yeah. And I was thinking, how, how how did I get so lucky to have a daughter like that? We both got lucky. Yeah. But, you know, it was nothing that I intended. What do you mean, nothing you intended? I mean, I didn't want a baby. No, I, I wasn't ready to raise a kid. I never even gave a thought about that, and then... And that one night with Gabby, we were so you know, lonely and needy, and there was no joy in any of it. Well, why, why are you dredging this up right now? Well, because I think maybe I'm being punished. Punished? What? No, why would you be punished? For, for conceiving a child, for... Being irresponsible. No, I, well, how could you say that? Ari has brought us so much joy. And Gabby. Why would you be punished for bringing such a wonderful little girl into our lives? Oh, because it's complicated. I mean, Ari has been so confused lately. Oh, she has three parents. And she's she's never had any real stability in her life. Ari is so loved. So cherished. Not just by you and me and Gabby, but 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 her grandparents. By everyone who is lucky to know her. And she's a great little girl. She she's smart, she's sensitive, she's funny as hell. <laughs> she's gonna have a wonderful life. And you're always saying to me how proud you are to be her dad. And you damn well should be. Because I'm proud too. It is what I'm most proud of in my life. What? What are you thinking? I just hope that... That I'm, I get to be there to help her grow up. You're gonna be there, okay? You're around. Will, you're here right now. You are young, you are strong, and you're gonna fight. We both are. And we're gonna get you healthy, and we're gonna get you well. Because we, we, have, we have many wonderful years ahead of us, together with our daughter. Okay? Do you believe me? Do you hear what I'm saying? No more defeatist talk from you, okay? Please. Don't, don't play the what-if game, the worst-case scenario that's not helping any of us. Not you, not me, not Ari. 
We have to stay positive. And we have to move forward with hope and determination. Do you understand? Okay, we're not, we're not giving up now. Oh, baby. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wait a minute. Keep it together, please. Oh, it's all right. So, so afraid that something was going to happen to me. But you weren't worried about him telling your grandfather that I was drinking. I thought okay, that I, you know, I could, I could soothe things over with you, oh. with you. Oh, God knows you've covered for me many times. <laughs> <laughs>